Begin installation of your new brake lines. First, get the car safely jacked up and remove the wheel that you intend to work on. Before you remove any brake lines, you wanna check the brake fluid level in your master cylinder. Reason being is that when you remove your old brake lines, fluid is gonna run out. And if the fluid level is too low in your master cylinder, it's gonna go dry. And you never wanna let your master cylinder go dry because you'll have to reset the ABS system and clear all the fault codes. So check that. Before you remove the old brake line, you need to clean off all the old connection points at the hard line to the brake line connection point and all the nuts. You need to clean off the caliper to brake line connection over here and just clear any road dust from anywhere near the brake line so that you don't get road dirt into your brake system. Before remove the brake line, be prepared with a drip pan and protect any painted surfaces that you don't want to have brake fluid on. When you remove the line, brake fluid is going to come out, so be prepared for that. We're going to use this rubber cap to cap off the hard line to prevent any unnecessary mess. To take the hard line off, you'll need an 11 millimeter flare nut wrench. You want to make sure to use a flare nut wrench because otherwise you'll round the edges on the nut and ruin it. Keep in mind you want to use quality tools. Cheap tools will also round it and ruin it. So use your 11 millimeter and a 14 millimeter backup wrench. We use the backup wrench just so that we know we're not going to twist that line when we break this loose. Because these are OEM, they've been on there for a long time, you can easily ruin this. If you find they're really locked tight, use a little lubrication to break them loose easier. If you're replacing OEM lines, most likely you're going to have some nuts that are just corroded to the hard line. In that case, you got to do what you got to do to break it loose. And when you've ruined it, you're going to have to cut the line and reflare it. If you're finding yourself in this predicament, refer to our other video. The link is in the description. For now, we're going to move on and get all the other lines installed. Move these lines out of the way. Make sure you use two hands and pull it straight out so you don't sever anything. And then push those out of the way. While you're at it, you can pull this line out too, same way. And you can tuck that away. The line is just about off. And once we take it all the way off, we're gonna cap it so that we don't have any unnecessary leaks. Our hard line is out. And as you can see, we have it capped it's not 100% necessary, but we do it so that we got all the time and we're not making any messes. You can take the old line off now. Use your 14 millimeter wrench, holding this line up and out of the way because it's gonna turn and you don't want it to leak. And you can break this loose. There. And you can turn this with it just so you don't leak oil. I plugged it so that we didn't leak. Go ahead and remove it. You might see on your old line that there's a lot of road grime that you don't want into your brake caliper system. So just use a wire brush and you can clean it off before you take it all out. Yeah, see that dust coming off. Reroute the line up through here. Now it spins out. The old brake line is out, so now we can go ahead and install the new one. Notice some differences between your OEM and your new stainless steel brake line. First off, with this OEM, you'll notice there's some knurling on the edge of it that inserts into the bracket where it connects to the hard line. On your new stainless steel one, there is not, and you'll need to have this washer so that it doesn't slip through. Before you install, take this black plug and you wanna put it in on the side that goes to the hard line. While you're installing it, that'll keep it clean. For the caliper ends, you don't have to do anything. It's important 
that you don't use Teflon tape or any pipe seal on any brake parts. The machining does the sealing. We're gonna put it in just the way we took it out. We're gonna come in from the back side. That way we can insert it and turn it in straight. Use your 14 millimeter and you can tighten it down. With your stainless steel line rerouted, you go ahead and reconnect all these. And the stainless steel one, it's grommet, it's right there, like that. You'll notice that the sensor wires go on the outside of the stainless steel one. So make sure that clears so you don't get any binding issues of any lines. To reconnect the stainless steel line to your old hard line, you're gonna put the washer on the stainless steel. I'm gonna push up through there. Now this old line, before you put it on, make sure you put this old U-clip on first and then you insert that stainless steel line in there. So run it down finger tight, and when it's still a little bit loose, your line is not in a bind there, so that's where you wanna lock it down. With the new stainless steel system, this nut is not locked down like with the old one. So get your 14 millimeter backup wrench, 11 millimeter flare nut wrench and lock it down. Once you got it installed, do some cleanup, get some brake clean, spray everything down. And get the caliper side too. With your brake clean, and then just wipe it down. Then check it for binding by turning the wheel. After each brake, check your fluid levels. You don't want to run it dry. 